Russia and the Persian Gulf countries be characterized against a backdrop of the current political situation in the Ukrainian crisis? And what will be the development of strategic relations in the future? Well, first of all, I want to say that we have already talked a lot about this today, but in short, these are friendly partnership relations based on mutual respect, on consideration of each other's interests, on the desire to form consensus, common approaches to any issues discussed, and today's meeting confirmed that we always honestly state our positions to each other, but at the same time, none of us seeks to cooperate against anyone. No one seeks to interfere in the relations of any of the states present here with third parties. I think this is their difference from a number of other relationships, which, unfortunately, are not equal in this world. The head of BTB Bank, Andrey Kostin, proposed creating an alternative international depository settlement hub, which would be based in one of the countries of the Persian Gulf. How interesting is this idea for partners? In which country can it be implemented? And is there a study of this issue at the site of the Russian Foreign Ministry? Thank you. Now there are a lot of initiatives that go in a similar direction and which are explained by the fact that the dollar, of course, has discredited itself very much as a major reserve currency. It has proven to be unreliable. It proved that the issuing country, if it suddenly had a desire to punish someone, would abuse its position without hesitation. Therefore, of course, many countries are thinking about how to avoid such influence. And how to reduce dependence on those who prove their biased and selfish geopolitical positions. This is not the only proposal you mentioned. There was a proposal from the president of Brazil, Lula. He recommended considering the possibility of almost a single currency for the countries of Latin America and the Caribbean. He also proposed not so long ago to discuss this problem as a whole within the framework of the BRICS summit, which will be held in August this year under the chairmanship of the Republic of South Africa. There are other ideas that go in this direction. Experts assess the possibilities of creating a single currency and the possibility of creating settlement hubs in different ways. But all experts who think for the future have a desire to help develop, if not a single currency, then payment mechanisms that will protect all participants in the process from the arbitrariness of any external player. I think it's a healthy process. Good afternoon, Sergei Viktorovich. Amid talk of a possible extension of the grain deal, could we see a new deal with better terms? To what extent are the Arab countries ready to participate in such transactions against a background of the fact that Russia has confirmed the possibility of selling its grain outside the framework of previous transactions? Thank you. Do you know what it means? there be better conditions? There was a package that was proposed by Antonio Guterres, the UN Secretary General. First and foremost, I'd like to give all, all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Rakat Badash. Double honors to the elder apostle GMS who do well. Salute your brothers for pushing this word. And truth is said, strength by Yahweh Shemal Shah. And Shalom woman to you, brothers and sisters. Going to trust the spirit by Yahweh Shemal Shah. Shalom woman to you too, right? We are here to prophesy the downfall of wicked, destructive kingdom known as Babylon the Great. Try to make them more Egypt, Rome, all those empires controlled. All those ancient empires controlled by Esau, even the so called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And we are here to gather the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the people like you know the name of Those are the only ones that's going to. Uh, turn back and repent and serve Kalbash and Al Shai and Truth and Syria. Now, you heard that concerning Sergei Lodogorov, uh, a Russian uh, government official, concerning uh, getting away from the dollar. But 
what I wanted, what I wanted uh, to come out, uh, let me see, let's see if I can go straight to it. What I wanted to come out is uh, concerning uh, what's going on in Ukraine. I mean, uh, concerning, uh, let me see. steps and I can assure you these steps are well in advance of course we were struck by the speed with which both Finland and Sweden joined NATO by the way Finland has already joined NATO and Sweden is now actively forcibly dragged into the process which will remove the well-known obstacles on this path We were struck by the speed with which both Finland and Sweden abandoned their neutral status. From the advantages that this neutral status provided them for many decades. This provided them with a relatively independent role. This provided them with a reputation and authority both in Europe and in the international arena, and, in the end, to give up the advantages that they had from special trade, economic, investment and other relations with the Russian Federation. The speed with which this happened, well, of course, It makes one look for the reason in the complete subordination in which these countries have been placed by the United States and the rest of the collective West. Damn. It's always something, man. Damn commercial. The United States and the rest of the collective West. All the national interests of both the Finnish and Swedish states were sacrificed to the need to rally the entire West in the fight. In this case against Russia. By turning Ukraine into another neo-Nazi tool. That was set against our country with the sole purpose of preventing at least some challenging the task set by the United States to ensure the hegemony of the West forever. To continue by colonial methods to ensure the life of the West at the expense of others, but, I repeat, both Finland and Sweden had a very different reputation, but, apparently, instincts from the time of the emergence of Nazism in Europe, the instincts of the Cold War, they turned out to be not hidden at all deeply. And 
immediately after the command was given to everyone to line up against Russia. They dutifully agreed with this, sadly. This is the choice of those governments. That received the votes of their constituents. Therefore, the people of the respective country should, of course, judge how much this is in the interests of Finland and Sweden. But, of course, we will draw conclusions depending on how quickly and how deeply NATO will develop the territory of Finland and Sweden. There is no doubt that they are going to do it. Now, I want y'all to hear that part. How they watching Finland and Sweden? Now, let's look at this map. Give me a few, uh, pull that map out of there, bro. For me. Let's see how close Finland and Sweden is to Russia. Find Finland and Sweden. Let's see how close that is. Finland and Sweden. So Jake can see it on the map, so they can have a. Uh, 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 visual, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so Finland and Sweden, come on, come on, you know what I'm saying? You gotta come close so Jake can see it. Come on, yeah, oh, no. come, come back like that way, hold it that way, yeah. Finland and Sweden is uh, up there, okay? Finland and Sweden is up there, and they go Russia right there. So you got Finland and Sweden joining NATO, okay? And that's right, that's right there on Russian border, man. You see, you see what you see what America's doing? Now Ukraine, Ukraine is right there. So, and Ukraine was supposed to be a buffer zone for NATO. Uh, uh, it was supposed to be a buffer zone for Russia and NATO. But they fighting in uh in Ukraine, and NATO then made uh Sweden and Finland, you know what I'm saying, gonna make them, well, Sergey Lodgroff said uh, Sweden is not part of it, but Finland, you know what I'm saying, it's there, but Sweden is gonna get there. But, but you can go back and look at the video. But they up there now, NATO is up there now, and now Russia's saying, look, we're gonna see how deep they get into Finland and uh, Sweden. They gonna do it, but we're gonna see how deep they get, get into it. Now, Belarus is on the top of uh, Ukraine. Now Belarus is is uh, allied with Russia, and and Belarus is trained to use the Russian nukes. So Russia uh, is on top of uh, Ukraine that way too. And then you got Poland, which Poland is allies with America and, and, and NATO. Okay, so you got that going on. Then you got Romania; they allies with uh, uh with uh, NATO. Okay. So you got all that going on, but I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the water bro. I'm gonna show you the uh let me see. I got I got two more I want y'all to see. I've got two more I want y'all to see uh video before we start grabbing these scripts. Let me see what we get. Uh I want y'all to check this out. This uh going into uh this going into the against the backdrop of the failure of another wave of mobilization in Ukraine, and in order to hide the catastrophic losses of personnel of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Kiev regime has stepped up recruitment work in Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East to attract foreign mercenaries. In total, since February 24, 2022. 11,675 foreign mercenaries from 84 states have officially arrived there to participate in hostilities on the site of Ukraine. The largest number of mercenaries arrived in Ukraine in March and April 2022. However, after the first losses suffered, the dynamics of their arrival was sharply reduced. The most numerous groups came from Poland, with more than 2,600 people. From the USA and Canada, 900 or more people. From Georgia, more than 800 people. From the UK and Romania, more than 700 people. From Croatia, more than 300 people. As well as from France and from the Turkish-controlled part of Syria, 200 or more people. As of June 30, the destruction of 48-45 foreign mercenaries in the vast majority of the United States 
Canada and European countries during the hostilities has been reliably confirmed. Another 4801 foreign fighters fled the territory of Ukraine, having dealt with the attitude towards them from the Kyiv regime today. 2029 mercenaries continue to operate in the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine. According to information obtained during the interrogation of captured Ukrainian servicemen, the commanders of units of the armed forces of Ukraine operating on the line of contact are not held accountable for losses among foreign mercenaries. The Ukrainian command throws into meat assaults on Russian positions. First of all, units manned by foreign mercenaries. The evacuation of wounded mercenaries is organized according to the residual principle, only after the removal of Ukrainian servicemen, according to reports, due to high losses of personnel. The Kiev regime last month launched the recruitment of foreign mercenaries in Argentina, Brazil, Afghanistan, Iraq and American controlled areas of Syria. In connection with the multiple drop in interest in dying for the Kiev regime in Poland, in the UK and in other European countries, recruiting activities have been intensified in the USA and Canada. This work is being carried out on the basis of Ukrainian foreign agencies, with the assistance of Western intelligence services, primarily the CIA and private military companies controlled by it, such as Academia, Kyabik and Dean Corporation. Foreign mercenaries are used by the Kyiv regime as cannon fodder. No one from the Ukrainian command spares their lives, so they have only one choice left, to escape from Ukraine or die. The Russian armed forces, in the course of a special operation, continue to destroy foreign mercenaries. So, I want y'all to hear that, right? My battery finna go dead. Try to preserve it. But I got one more, one more. One more, man. One more. One more, right? Now, this right here is, uh, what's the name of, Google the name of, uh, the bricks. Uh, the Briggs uh, Vice President. What's her name? Di the Delma. Delma. Okay, Delma. Now, what I'm finna do is show you uh, what Delma is talking about concerning uh, the BRICS, because she's the president of the BRICS Bank, okay? And I'm gonna show you uh, what she's saying concerning uh, money, okay? Let me see. What she's saying concerning money. Let's see if I can get it. At the same time, it is necessary to find ways to avoid foreign exchange risk and other issues such as being dependent on the single currency such as the U.S. dollar. The good news is that we are seeing many countries choosing to trade using their own currencies. China and Brazil, for instance, are agreeing to exchange with RMB in the Brazilian real. At the NDB, we have committed to it in our strategy. For the period from 2022 to 2026, NDB has to lend 30% in local currency, and so 30% of our loan book will be financed in the currencies of our member countries. That would be extremely important to help our countries avoid exchange rate risks and shortage in finance that hinder long-term investments. So, that's what I want to do. That was the BRICS president concerning uh, uh, countries trading in their own local currency getting away from the dollar, okay? So, that's the thought process of, you know, uh, nations separating themselves from the U.S. dollar. Now, I showed you all that, to say this right here, the season that we in is for Jake to gather themselves together, man. So, we are gonna read uh, Zephaniah, uh, chapter 2, verse 1. And what I want to do is look that up in the different translations too. Okay? Alright, this is uh, Zephaniah 
chapter 2 verse 1 it says gather yourselves together yeah gather yourselves together gather together O nation not desire nobody's longing to be with the Negro Latino the Native American to put them back on top man. the Negro Latino the Native American got to get in one mind according to these scriptures and come back to Yahweh Basham Shai so Yahweh Basham Shai can put the nation of Israel back up on top man nobody's longing and desiring to be with the nation of Israel to put them back on top man and you see the condition of these nations man they going to war man it ain't no turning around man you got foreign mercenaries which the government of Russia uh, their official is explaining to you you got foreign mercenaries in Ukraine and they fight foreign mercenaries man they fight that's a hot war man that's a hot war and me and these brothers were discussing uh, a cold war the definition of a cold war and what you see right now in Ukraine is a hot war man that's what you see man it's a hot war in Ukraine man you got foreign mercenaries man in Ukraine man so, read that for me again, bro. All right, this is Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. It says, gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desire. Gather yourself together, O nation not desire. Now, what I want to do is a different translation of that. All right, this is uh, the Bible Hub, and this is Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1 in the New International Version. It says, gather together, Gather yourselves together, you shameful nation. Mm -hmm. uh, the New Living Translation. Gather together, yes, gather together, you shameless nation. Mm -hmm. uh, English Standard Version. Says gather together, yes, gather, oh shameful nation. Mm -hmm. Shameless, shameless nation. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Then I'll, I'll skip to the Amplified Bible. It says, gather yourselves together in repentance. See? Gather yourself together in repentance, man. Come back to your house and your shop. And you ought to be ashamed for not uh, knowing who you are and knowing who your power is and serving you, man. You ought to be ashamed of your sins, man of what you're doing against your power, man. You ought to be ashamed, man. So y'all watch now with Shah, it's saying through Jeff and I, gather yourself together, man. Repent. Because the conditions on this earth is turning bad, man. It ain't turning good, it's turning bad, man. You see? Things are upside down, man. And you might as well, you, you, you American people, man, what you don't realize is, man, that Ukraine war, man, behind the scenes, man, is devaluing the dollar, man, because they dumping so much money in to help Ukraine, man. So you might as well start flying your American flag upside down to let the world know you're in distress, man. Go ahead. It says, uh, yes, gather in submit submission, mm -hmm. O nation without shame. Yeah, let's talk about the nation of Israel, man. Nigga like you don't Native Americans, man. So you need to repent and come back to your house by and Shah. You see the conditions, man. That's why I show you the videos, man. Because the mass of the people are occupied watching CNN and Fox. And they ain't, they ain't showing you nothing. And then you got people on the web where they watching uh, 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 other people live their life and watching TikTok videos and going in and, and, and not paying attention to the conditions of how America is falling, man. So you better gather yourself together, man. And that's all they do with these, uh, uh, that's all these American people do. They they go on the web and watch entertainment and embrace themselves and bear hood lies, man. They don't want to hear the truth, man. They don't want to hear the truth and the condition of this world, man. That's why they, in America, man, that's why they go on there looking for fun things to watch, man. Looking for folly, man. You see, looking for other people, how they live their life, man. They might be watching rap videos all day. This is the rap songs all day, man. They might be watching people doing TikTok, uh, TikTok dances all day, man. You know, they might be watching concerts, man. You know, all fun stuff, entertainment, you know what I'm saying, to distract them from what's going on in the world truly, man. So read that from the again, bro. The 
if I may, if I may, Salaki, if I can read this New Living in Translation, because uh, I said shameful, mm -hmm. and it's actually shameless. Okay. So I'll read it again. Uh, this is the New Living Translation of Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. It says, gather together, yes, gather together, you shameless nation. Yeah. Okay, Salaki about that. Okay, and then, uh, I'm going to read, uh, this is uh, the Amplified Bible. It says, gather yourselves together in repentance. Yes, gather in sub submission, O nation, without shame. Yeah, and that's what Israel need to do, man. Repent for their sins, man. And serve Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Because like I said, man, I show you the video because uh, Jake not looking at things like that, man. They don't know about things like that what's going on in the world. So the most high, y'all watch your mouth shot, put the spirit on us to show you information like that so you can see what's going on. People might say, well, they ain't saying ain't nothing going on in Ukraine. Yes, it is. The fire's still lit. You see? The fire's still lit, man. It's still going down, man. And like I always told y'all from the beginning, when this thing first popped out, it's gonna spread, man, because when you go into the history of these wars, man, of you know. World War One, World War Two, all of them started in Europe. It's gonna spread, man. It's gonna spread to where they gotta go down into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man, to the Middle East. They gotta go down there, man. And then you got uh, you got uh, you got a proxy war with uh, Iran and uh, Israel, man. You got proxy war with that. You got uh, the Gaza Strip to where uh. Hamas, which is funded by Iran, okay, which is funded by Iran, fighting them Israelis in the proxy war. You got Lebanon, which is funded, uh, which is Hezbollah. You got Iran funding Hezbollah in Lebanon. You got Syria, which is Iran is funding uh, Hezbollah in Syria, which is in the Golden Heights. So, and then you got Iran want to be, uh, want to have access to the Mediterranean Sea, you see? So you got that proxy war going on with Israel. Everything Iran and Israel. Now, I'm gonna show you something concerning that. How uh, the defense minister of, uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, this in the Israeli Times, man. It, it, the Times of Israel. That's where it's at. The Times of Israel. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, this was the former. Uh, this was the former uh, minister. Uh, minister. Hold on. This was the former uh, defense minister, Benny uh, Gats. Okay, Benny Gats, the defense minister. He's the former defense minister. It's a different one in there now, but he was the former one. And this was around uh, December of last year, 2022. And he said, and he told the graduate, and he told the graduates of the Air Force, he said, look, he said, Gantz, Gantz tells graduate pilots they could be flying to attack Iran in two to three years. So that proxy war that's going on with Iran and Lebanon, the Golden Heights in Syria and Gaza, that right there could spread to attack on Iran and that's what we need. You see, that's what we need. So everything is all, let me show y'all this before I get off of it. You can go there and look it up. This, uh, that's the, uh, the, the Times of Israel, okay? So, so everything is uh, set up. Just like we, we teaching out here, everything is set up. The prophecy is set up. It's going according to prophecy in its course, okay? You got, you got these uh, uh, proxy wars popping off. You got us out here teaching. You got the actual mark of the beast, which is already created and people taking it, but it need to be implemented on a mass scale. So everything gonna speed up when you hop out your mouth. Y'all say, look, don't let every all these prophecies speed up. It's gonna happen fast, man. So that's why we're telling you, according to uh, Zephaniah 
uh, two and one, gather yourself together, O nation not desired. Okay? Read that for me again, bro. All right, this is Ephniah chapter two, verse one. It says, gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a shaft, as the shaft, before the fierce anger of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai come upon you. So, before the fierce anger. So repent before Yahweh Hashem Yahushai destroy this place, cause it's gonna lead up to that, man. 